Hey guys, what's up? Dan from Alliance Contracting. So you decided to change the oil in your Boss snowplow. You're gonna need at least two quarts of Boss hydraulic fluid, some rubber or nitrile gloves, a crescent wrench, an eight millimeter Allen wrench, a funnel, a rag, and some sort of drain pan. This old roaster pan works pretty good to fit underneath the drain plug on the truck. It's always easier to change the oil in the plow while it's on the truck. I usually like to cycle it a couple times, make sure everything works, let it sit, and then I drain the oil, and here's how. Up underneath the headgear, there's gonna be an Allen drain plug. I use this eight millimeter Allen T. It goes right on there. Now, it's probably gonna be tight, so then what I do is I take the crescent wrench, and I put the crescent wrench onto the Allen wrench, and I use the crescent wrench to turn it to get a little bit more torque. You just wanna be careful so you don't strip out the Allen head or snap off the wrench into the Allen plug. That would not be good. So I get it loose. I place my drain pan over the A-frame and the springs. Then I finish it off with the hand, pull the plug out, let the oil drain into the pan. I've already drained the oil, so I'm not gonna show you the oil coming out. Once the oil's drained, you're gonna screw that plug back in, and then you're gonna wanna take your Allen wrench and make sure it's good and tight, but don't over tighten it. Now, some plows come with a plastic elbow here. This is your filler port into the hydraulic tank. I always take off the plastic ones and replace them with this brass elbow because there's nothing worse than breaking off the plastic elbow in the cold Michigan weather. And then you lose your hydraulic fluid and you risk getting moisture in your hydraulic system and contaminating it. So while the oil's out, now is the time to replace this elbow because when we fill it, as you can see, you wanna fill it up to you see oil in the elbow. You're probably gonna need your crescent wrench to loosen this plastic cap off the elbow. It gets tight over the season. Usually I change the oil in these plows every fall, right before plowing season starts. Go ahead and stick your funnel in there. This one stays in by itself. You push it in with a little bit of force. Then you wanna just slowly, and I emphasize slowly, because it's gonna burp the air out, pour your hydraulic fluid in. Underneath the headgear cover on the hydraulic tank, there is a breather cap that lets the air out. And it's important that that breather cap remains intact. I've seen people try and take it out thinking that's where they fill the oil and they break the breather cap and then you end up getting moisture into your hydraulic system. And once there's moisture in these lines, if it gets cold enough, the fluid and the moisture in the fluid actually will freeze and your plow will cease to function. So we slowly add the fluid, wait till it goes down to add some more. Your typical Boss snow plow holds about two quarts of oil. On the side of the gallon, it has this little clear window. I put about two quarts in. So now we're gonna pull the funnel and check it. This is where it's important to have the rag handy because sometimes if you've overfilled it, oil's gonna spew out. So I'm pretty happy. I can just see oil on the bottom of that elbow, which according to this sticker means it's full. If you overfill this, after you use the plow a couple times through a couple cycles, that breather cap inside the headgear here will overflow oil and you'll see red fluid dripping from the bottom of your plow. So if you overfill it, it's not a huge deal, but it could make a little bit of a mess for you. So now we're gonna screw this cap back on and make sure you don't cross thread it. So I hand tighten it. Then just give it a little torque with the wrench, not too much, not to over tighten it. Just wanna make sure it's snug so moisture doesn't get in there. Right about there. All right, that's a quick tutorial on how to change the fluid in your Boss snowplow. Any one of these HT3 plows, they pretty much use the same pump and tank and fluid, and they all hold about two quarts. 
they all have the same drain plug on the bottom and they have that elbow. Again, I recommend replacing it with the brass elbow there. So hopefully this helps you. Have a safe plowing season. Thanks for watching.